At number eight, it's the Beast of the Seas, a Soviet Leviathan built to lurk beneath the Arctic ice, and if need be, rain nuclear weapons down on her Cold War enemies. Typhoon class. Country of origin, Soviet Union. Type, nuclear strategic missile submarine. Power plant, two PWR nuclear reactors. Offensive armament, 20 SSN-20 Sturgeon SLBMs. Six 21-inch torpedo tubes. Submerged displacement, 48,000 tons. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union constantly struggled to keep up with American weapon development. And despite the huge costs involved, submarines were no exception. It's amazing that the Soviets were able to design something so large and so maneuverable and so capable. Instead of building harvesters and tractors that work and that are effective, they're building enormous submarines. The Typhoon submarine is so potentially effective. It is such an excellent piece of equipment by Soviet standards. It boggles the mind. These are people who cannot make a working car. What the Soviets achieved with the Typhoon was a state-of-the-art sub that dwarfed its rivals. If you look at the size of a Typhoon, we're talking about a couple of maybe two or three American football fields long. When it's submerged, it displaces 48,000 tons, more than a Second World War battleship. The Typhoon's sheer mass made her impressive to look at. More importantly for the crew, it meant a world of luxury older submariners could only dream of. It was planned for a very long deployment, 120 days. And when you look at the facilities on board, you know, saunas and swimming pools, and it was obviously designed to, to keep the crew interested and in the height of comfort. But the Typhoon wasn't a pleasure boat. It was a submersible missile silo, capable of launching 20 ICBMs with up to 200 nuclear warheads. One of those submarines with ballistic missiles, nuclear tipped, with multiple re-entry vehicles could probably devastate the eastern seaboard of the United States, just one submarine. As a class, the Typhoon was designed to sit out nuclear exchanges and launch a retaliatory strike. To achieve this, it had to be well hidden. Typhoon was essentially designed to be placed under the Arctic ice, embedded in that ice, and she would simply float with the ice over time, and she could launch on a moment's notice. That's what she was designed to do. Breaking through up to 12 feet of ice with its specially strengthened fin, the Typhoon's mission would effectively render her crew the last men on the planet. Once all of the dust had been launched into the air, and once the nuclear winter was going to start up, which was going to cloud over the whole planet, then, and only then, is Typhoon going to bust up through the ice pack on the surface of the Arctic Ocean and throw the knockout punch that finally wins the war for Ivan. That's what Typhoon is for. The Typhoon has a high fear factor. Stealth is excellent. Innovation and service length are good. But combat performance is average, putting this Soviet beast at number eight in our top ten list. <laughs>